welcome to my new Wine Country BC video podcast. This is number two, and uh, we're going to try a few things today. Well, we're going to try one thing today, but I'm going to talk about a few things. Um, I've had a few requests for wine. I put out some requests on uh, Facebook and Twitter, which is really cool. Uh, Tony Monday, I'm going to try to get Hidden Chapel on here. I know uh, I've been trying to get them on the, the regular podcast for a while. Uh, Leaf M, uh, something from Vancouver Island is coming your way. And because uh, I was just there, and it was uh, it was amazing. It was tons of fun. Uh, so that is up. And then uh, for Amanda H, we've got a Tantalus right here. And uh, I'm assuming you've tried it since you were really really uh, interested in Tantalus and Joie as well. And Tantalus is something that just I'm just in love with Riesling. Uh, this is the second video, and this is the second Riesling I've done. And uh, you can kind of see that I kind of like Riesling. It's a secret. Don't tell anyone. Anyways, this one is uh, it's probably the third vintage of, Tant of Tantalus that I'm really familiar with. And it just shows all kinds of fabulous things. It's what BC Riesling can really do really well. It's big, uh, kind of like a almost a rubber smell in some ways. There's a bit of a lemon component to it. And there's almost kind of like a little leafy, like a green mint leaf kind of, uh, kind of component to this one. All kinds of fun things. What I like about it is that every time I smell it, I smell something different, which is what I look for in a wine. I don't want to be tasting the same thing all the way through. I like it to be, uh, I like it to be a little bit, uh, you know. I like complexity, and that's what I look for um, in everything in music too, uh, which is uh, something that's come up lately in a few blog postings. Uh, anyways, check out the blog for that if you're interested. Tons of fun with this wine. It's a little bit of sweetness on this one. It's not totally dry. It's very much uh, an off-dry wine. What I like about the Tantalus Rieslings and what I like about what I'm tasting now is that there's such a depth to the to the uh, to the flavor. You get just a lot of different things. You get the same aromas that I was talking about, but it's like it's kind of a smoothness. There's like it's the difference between um, like a real cheap Riesling would be kind of like swimming in the shallow end of a pool. This is kind of like diving into the deep end, and it's tons it's amazing riesling um this has been called uh the old vines riesling from tantalus this is the the 2010 riesling uh from tantalus and this is their re retails for about 23 bucks um the old vines riesling has been called uh by uh by masters of wines um the best riesling in north america and so that's not something to uh, slouch at because it's it's a pretty good uh pretty good area some of the vines now are upwards of 45 years old and uh, something absolutely worth checking out, especially if you are a Riesling lover of BC wine. Anyways, have a good one. I can't stop smelling this. Uh, have a uh, wonderful weekend and uh, enjoy. Cheers.